Okay, hi guys and welcome to the show and today I'm doing a review on my Versa uh, Diplomat uh, double watchwinder. Now I'm going to have to do it with the handheld or the, the camera in the hand because uh, it's a rather big object and um, a bit different to doing a, a hands-on review of a watch where it's very kind of macro based. Um, so I'm just going to have to make do with, with the setup I've got. Before we get into reviewing this particular watchwinder, I wanted to say that uh, watchwinders is a bit of a bone of contention with a lot of um, people interested in horology. Obviously, there's the first argument of, you know, is it worth what winding my watch, blah, 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 and all the rest of it. Uh, and there's good points on both sides of the argument. Um, but the the main, you know, use of a, of a watchwinder like this is just to have your automatic pieces, um, you know, charging and, and keeping time. And it's, I use it, you know, if you if you haven't got much time to get up and get ready in the morning uh, as you go to work, you know, having a watch winder just saves a little bit of time and, you know, you don't have to set up the date and all the rest of it and, uh, you know. So what I like to do, I like to have three watches uh, in circulation. Uh, in rotation rather at one time and then the rest of my watches I'll, I'll put away in their boxes uh, a lot of you have asked me to review this a long time ago and it's and it's taken a long time to get this review done for a specific reason now this reason basically is because when you're paying this is an entry-level watch wind okay I'm quite a frugal person and I just wanted something very simple and affordable you know you can spend a fortune on these ornate wooden um, boxes, all these super modern minimalist things that you know go into the hundreds, and and they're great because you know you're getting guarantee that they're going to be silent in operation. Uh, and sometimes when you spend uh, money on a cheapo like this, or what I consider cheap, uh, you know you're taking a bit of gamble, a bit of a gamble, um, because obviously there's less quality control in the manufacturing process, and you're not guaranteed that it's going to be quiet. And I can happily report that it is a really quiet um, uh, operation. So this is the double watch winder. And as you see, I have my sub in at the bottom and my squire at the top. And they have these kind of clip in. Uh, it's held in by pressure, uh, little pads. And they just click in and um, it's quite a good system. Uh, they click in and it's very solid and you also have uh, a, a little a little cushion two, two extra little cushions if you have a smaller watch and if you have a really large uh, watch um, then you can you have these little kind of adapters that just clip onto the, the front section here what I like about this one is that it's kind of um, has a little magnetic door uh, and it does a really good job of keeping the sound in. The sound of this in, in operation is, is really, really silent. And the only way I could truly um, make sure that it would remain silent, because I have had people say that, oh, after a couple of months, it starts making a noise. And I've had this for almost as long as I've had the channel. So, um, you know, half a year now. So, and I can happily report it's completely silent. So let's have a look at the back. So as we see on the back, uh, we got the power input, made in China obviously. So we have the on-off, uh, a slider there with four settings, and then um, another switch with three positions on it um, to control the direction of rotation. Now, this is quite a crucial part. A common question is uh, what uh, what is the correct um, direction um, to wind an automatic now I would say 95% of movements uh, are uni the the rotor is uh, unidirectional and it can charge both ways there are certain Japanese movements that uh, go I think a certain way I can't remember if it's clockwise or anti-clockwise most of them are anti-clockwise but uh, and then the sliders this, now this is quite a cool feature that I do like about this watch winder 
you have A, B, C, D, and this refers to um, the timer. Okay, so the slider uh, controls the amount and time of rotation. So on A, it goes for 33 seconds, rest for 12. On B, it goes for 10 minutes and then rest for 90 minutes. On C, it goes for half an hour, rest for three hours. And on D, it goes for a full hour and rest for three hours. So it's a really cool thing. As you see, I have it on D. I like to get the maximum uh, charge. So let's just get an idea of the size I have here. Um, so it's just under 10 inches tall. Um, and just under five inches wide, um, so it can fit in most bookshelves. Um, I'm I'm really pleased with it. I think for sixty bucks, you can't really complain. Um, I prefer the all black over the one with the little silver details. I just think it's it's a little bit more, you know, simple is always more smarter in my opinion. Um, it's done me absolutely proud. Um, so let's have a look at the watch winder in action and uh, I'll, I'll try and set up my microphone so you can hear the noise it's very very quiet and for my setup you know I like to have three watches in rotation and then the rest of my collection um, I think I have nine pieces now so I have six um, six in uh, storage or, or locked away and then I have three in rotation and that's just how I operate but I think that's a not, uh, great subject for another day anyway so let's see this bad boy in action so as you can see it's uh, back on my shelf uh, charging quite happily yeah I, c I can't really complain you know 60 bucks it's it's you know it's does the job and, and and you know I personally I don't I don't see the point in spending a hundred and a hundred dollars but but be warned you know you might get one that rattles you want to make sure that the watches are really positioned tightly um, in their little uh, holders there. If I just pull out one, it's a well-designed setup. There's a little bit of um, kind of padding there to protect if the bracelet. Um, and yeah, it's it it does the job. Okay, so that is my review of the Versa uh, Double Watch Winder. Um, please let me, let me know what you think. Uh, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know if of any other watch winders I should uh, I should look at, because um, I think the rate my collection's going, I'm going to need a few more. But anyway, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Ciao.